Hi, and welcome to American Printer TV. I'm Tamara Falansky. And I'm John Hamilton. We are here with the latest printing industry news. Last time, we gave you a sampling of some of the new offerings unveiled at IPEX 2010. Today, we'll show you even more exciting innovations. Here's what else is coming up. Shanghai Electric assumes full ownership of Goss. A new inkjet web press gives a book printer a competitive edge. And we hear from educator Dan Wilson in the columnist's corner. IPEX 2010 has demonstrated that the printing industry is back in business. Now that's according to RIT Professor Emeritus Frank Romano. He also received an IPEX Champion in Print Award this year. Attendance reached almost 50,000 people from 135 countries, and the international ratio increased by 8% over 2006. The IPEX 2010 organizers say tens of millions of pounds were invested at the show in Birmingham, England. Last time, we highlighted some new technology from the show. Now, we'll continue our IPEX 2010 coverage. Fujifilm's digital inkjet press was running live at IPEX 2010. Fujifilm also launched two new plates in its low chemistry family, the Brillia HD LH PLE plate and the LHNI3 plate. Both are compatible with the company's FLH ZZAC processor and will offer printers more environmental and cost saving options. EFI showcased a mobile client for Apple mobile devices. It lets users view and control EFI PACE and Monarch workflow software, as well as all EFI XF driven printers and software for production and proofing through the iPhone, iPad, or iPod. With access to EFI Fiery XF and Colorproof XF RIPs, users can view preview, proof, print, and delete jobs on the move. X-Rite introduced i1 Profiler, the company's next generation color profiling software, and Pantone Link, a new color swatch bridging software. At the core of i1 Profiler is X-Rite's i1 Prism engine, enabling users to build accurate printer profiles for up to eight color printing workflows. I1 Profiler is designed to optimize ICC profiles for different viewing conditions and includes optical brightener correction technology. Users are also no longer restricted by a limited set of paper sizes. Pitney Bowes expanded its IntelliJet line with the new 20.5 inch wide format color inkjet web press from HP. The company also introduced the Companion Inserting System, a tabletop inserter offering closed loop job reconciliation and faster processing of small jobs and reprints. And Printable Technologies announced the acquisition of image personalization software supplier DirectType. Printable has launched Fusion Pro Expression to replace the DirectType brand. The most significant development will come in late June when Fusion Pro Expression is planned to work directly with the popular Fusion Pro desktop to output full variable data print campaigns with unlimited image personalization. For more IPEX news, visit AmericanPrinter.com forward slash news and be sure to check out the cast archives for anything you might have missed. Shanghai Electric Group, or SEG, is assuming full ownership of Goss International, exercising an option from when SEG became a shareholder of Goss last year. Other Goss shareholders, including the majority shareholder, Matlin Patterson Global Opportunities Partners, will sell their shares as part of the transaction. At IPEX, Goss exhibited alongside SEG to highlight a range of newly allied printing companies and products in the combined portfolio. These include Akiyama's Mega J Print Perfecting Press with automatic simultaneous plate changing, the Yawa Pro F106 die cutter and foil stamper with high speed hologram stamping, the Goss Pearlux 1200 saddle stitcher, FEDA automated guillotine systems, and Guanghua multicolor sheet bed offset presses. SCG and its affiliates comprise one of the largest mechanical and electrical equipment manufacturing groups in China. The acquisition accelerates cooperation among SCG affiliated printing equipment suppliers across a global network. French book publisher CPI showcased its monochrome HP T300 inkjet web press at a recent open house. The 30 inch press is the centerpiece of CPI's quantum solution for medium run paperback book production. 
CTO Bernard Kiefer says the T300 meets the company's value proposition of 1 to 1 million books. Rated at 400 feet per minute, the T300 targets a key gap in the market. Low volume print on demand carrying a higher cost per book and analog offset book presses requiring longer run lengths. The HP T300 offers addressable 1200 by 600 DPI imaging in a speed and size combination that can produce 2400 A4 size pages per minute. HP T300 lets CPI produce virtually any run length on a wide variety of uncoated papers, a point of differentiation. Keeper cites pre-press savings and zero make ready as key competitive advantages. Says we can print different blocks, one after the other, without stopping the machine. Other advantages include pre-fused book blocks produced in line, print quality said to be equivalent to offset, flexible format size, and the ability to use the same stocks across all of its printing processes. The HP T300 can print on virtually any standard uncoated paper. Be sure to check out the full article, Inkjet's Next Chapter, in the May issue of American Printer. Well, it's time now for Columnist Corner with Education in Action contributor, Dan Wilson. In higher education, we're defined by our discipline. Uh, we're categorized that way. And we don't seem to have a name for ours that everybody can agree upon. If you look at civil engineering or biological sciences or accounting or even graphic design, you don't see any variations of these names, very little, uh, in colleges across the country. Um, in our discipline, we're all over the place. So, you know, the closest thing we have to as an, as an agreed upon name is graphic communications. We, we really uh, need to have a consistent label for our discipline, for who we are, so that we can uh, be easily located in a range of government databases uh, that potential students and parents can understand our academic discipline. So, uh, I'd love to see that our program, uh, our programs around the country coalesce around a shared uh, common name. It probably won't happen, but um, I'm doing my little part to, uh, to urge that forward. I don't even care what the name is, uh, but I think that the sooner we all agree upon a uh, standard academic discipline title, uh, the more likely our field of study will be more easily understood by everybody. Thanks for that, Dan. It's great seeing you on the show. You can read more about print industry education at AmericanPrinter.com. And we'll be back again in two weeks with more of the industry information that you need. See you next time.